Hi, welcome to Baby Boomer Rising. My name is Grant. I'm 54 years old. I'm just at the tail end of baby boomer stardom. Um, the reason I started this channel is to take some people along and maybe help some people in my journey to heal my non-alcohol fatty liver and uh, get a little healthier. Um, I'm hoping to motivate and just help someone out. If I can help one person, that would be awesome. Best life ever. More people you can help. I was encouraged on a Facebook page um, that maybe I should start a YouTube channel and uh, you know lay out my journey and, and maybe in that way I can help others. And <clears throat> I thought, no, sure, why not? I'll give it a shot. Um, but um, so my story, um, but in 2017, my doctor had informed me that I have a non-alcohol fatty liver. This all came about when I found out that my appendix, uh, they didn't, my appendix didn't actually rupture fully. It was uh, leaking and I had been doing that for years. I thought I just had um, bad gas, bad stomach, you know, from the terrible choice of foods I, I knew I was making. But uh, anyways, I got that taken care of. Uh, appendix is out. Um, but in that process, I found out about my liver. And not surprised. Um, I would binge drink quite a bit. And uh, in doing, you know, when I would do that, I would also get out the munchies and start eating a lot of uh, starchy carbs, chips, and, and whatever. And uh, that's the problem when you have non-alcohol fatty liver. It's not necessarily alcohol uh, that's doing the damage to your body. It's all of the excess uh, carbs that your body, your liver, your body's storing because your liver will uh, process the alcohol first and then uh, take care of anything else after. But meanwhile, everything gets stored as fat and it's just not good for your body. Um, so that's why I'm here. Um, today is day 120 of being sober, not a, no alcohol, and it's not a problem. Um, <clears throat> I would drink quite a bit um, every week, three, four days a week, maybe more, depending on what time of the year or what was going on. Um, and I tend to uh, sit alone uh, after everyone goes to bed and have a few extra whiskeys and um, that's probably where I was getting into trouble. So, um, 2018, I actually uh, went on and off alcohol quite a bit trying to, uh, to kick it. But then in, on December 26, 2018, uh, after a day of drinking with my father-in-law on Christmas, um, I decided that was enough and I needed to go at least a year to uh, correct some habits and uh, heal my liver. Uh, otherwise, I was going to kill myself uh, because of my diet and drinking. So today's uh, April 24th, 120 days sober, and actually 99 days without coffee. Uh, why coffee? Coffee was giving me acid reflux. And as soon as I quit coffee, I felt better. And actually, uh, physically, I felt much better not having coffee than I did alcohol. Um, I'm coming up on day 100 of no coffee and I might have one on day 101 just to see if I actually miss it. But because uh, I'm not a fan of tea, I'm trying tea, but not a fan. Anyways, this channel is unscripted and it's new, of course, and I don't want my wife to know quite yet. So I'm going to make this short. She's just coming home. And uh, <clears throat> I've been meaning to do this for a few weeks now. And uh, I hope to see you around. And I'd love to tell you more. And if you're thinking of quitting alcohol, do it. It's the best thing ever. If you're thinking about quitting coffee, try it. It's awesome. It's, uh, you know, just keep trying. Don't give up. Try, try, try over and over. Uh, you'll get there. So anyways, ciao for now. And I uh, hope to see you around.